Hello guys, I am Paneenta and welcome back to my channel to polish your CAC concepts with me. So let's get started. In today's video, we are going to see one more topic of compiler design that is shift reduce parsing. This shift reduce parsing is also known as bottom up parsing. This is one of the types of bottom up parsing. So in shift reduce parsing, which type of question are being asked that you will be given one grammar, you will be given one string and then you will be asked that uh, parse this string with the help of general SR parsing or general SR parser or shift reduce parser with the help of the given grammar. Now uh, for that we will be maintaining one stack, we will be maintaining this input string that is given to us and we will perform action on it. In action we will be having, we will be getting uh, four main parts that is shift, reduce, um, accept and reject or error. Fine, so the four, the four actions that we will be doing here are shift, reduce, accept and error. With the help of this example, I will show you what is shift, what is reduce and at the end, if I am getting accept after all the procedure, I can say that yes, this string can be passed successfully with the help of this grammar. But in, in between, if in any step I am getting this error, then I have to stop there itself and I can say that the given string is not or cannot be passed with the help of this grammar. Fine, so this is how we have to do this whole example. So let's start in this stack. How we will start in this stack by default one dollar will be there. Initially there is nothing else in the stack, so we will write only dollar. In input string initially I will write the whole string that is given to us that is id star id plus id. Fine, I will write it whole. And in the input string after the whole input string we will append one dollar at the end of it. Fine. So this is my first step. Now what will be my second step? In every step what we have to do is check that in the stack what is there with my dollar. In this case is there anything with my dollar? No. But whatever if there is any symbol with the dollar we have to check that whether that symbol is present in the RHS of any production of the grammar. If it is present in the RHS of any production of the grammar we will do reduce or reduction action otherwise if there is nothing like that we will perform shift. Fine, you have to remember these two basic things that if it is present as the RHS of any production of the grammar, then we will do reduce, otherwise we will do shift. This is the main thing you have to remember. Now let's see with the help of example, you will get a clear idea. So in this stack initially we are having only dollar. In the input string I have written the whole input string that has been appended with a dollar. Now what is the first step? I will check with the dollar. With the dollar, is there any symbol present? No, initially there is no symbol present. So the first step I have to take is uh, I, I have to shift a symbol from the input string to sh stack. Whenever I have to uh, insert any symbol from the input string to the stack, it is known as shift action. So, okay, here all the, act all the actions I have written. Uh, there is a mistake. Just consider that all are written one step above. Fine. So in the first step what I have to do is I have to shift id. Shift this first symbol from input string to stack. So, so the first action we will be taking is shift id. So in the next second step what we are doing we are shifting this id here. So stack will contain dollar id and input string will contain after id. After id we are having this star and this whole. Well, now in the for the third step again we will check is there anything with dollar? Yes, with dollar I am having id. So I will check is the id present as a part of RHS in my grammar? Yes, it is present in this production as a part of RHS. So I can do the reduction action that means I will reduce this id by this e. So and what I will be writing here uh, the presentation may be different here you can directly write that particular production that is e gives id or you can write the whole statement also that reduce id by e fine so in the next step what we are doing in place of this id i will write e that is known as reduction fine so i have write, written e and then the whole input string will be as it is okay now again in the next step i will check that with dollar what is there only capital e is there now i will check that e is this capital e is present as any of 
द प्रोडक्शन आर एच एस ओनली ई ओनली दिस स्मॉल ई ओनली दिस कैपिटल ई इज इट प्रेजेंट नो सो आई कैन नॉट डू रिडक्शन प्रोडक्शन ऑन दिस आई कैन नॉट रिड्यूस इट सो वॉट आई कैन डू एस रिडक्शन कांट बी देर आई हैव टू शिफ्ट वन सिम्बॉल फ्रॉम इनपुट स्ट्रिंग टू स्टेक सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल शिफ्ट दिस स्टार इन टू दिस स्टेक सो आई विल गेट ई स्टार दैट इज शिफ्ट स्टार हेयर द एक्शन वी हैव डन इज शिफ्ट स्टार नो अगेन आई विल चेक दैट ई स्टार कैन वी रिड्यूस इट is it present in the rhs no only e star is not present so we cannot reduce it so again we have to do shift production so again we will shift this bracket from here to here so here we will write in the action we will write shift opening bracket and here also we will shift this so here we will get after dollar in stack we will get e star capital uh, opening bracket and in input string opening bracket have already gone there so here i will be having only id plus id closing bracket and dollar now again in the second step e star opening bracket is it only present in rhs no again i cannot reduce it i have to shift something so i will shift this id there so i will get shift id and here we will get in stack e star opening bracket id and from here we will get from plus plus id closing bracket and dollar now i have to check e star opening bracket id this whole is present in rhs of any production no but only this id is present so obviously i cannot reduce this whole production that is present in the stack currently but yes i can at least reduce this id so what i can do here i can do reduce id again this means reduce id is there so we can reduce id by capital e so what i can do in the next step i can reduce this id with capital e and this input string will remain as it is now again i will check e star opening bracket e is it present as a part of rhs no only capital e is only capital e present as a part of rhs again no so the next step we have to do is shift one more symbol so what is the next symbol present in the input string plus so we will shift this plus in the stack so we'll get e star opening bracket e plus and here in the input string only id closing bracket is available fine so i hope you've understood the procedure of shift and reduce that is the main thing in this procedure so i will uh, let me show you the whole symbol here you uh, the whole solution here just try it yourself and check if you are getting it or not and at the end up to when up to where you have to carry out this whole procedure unless in the stack you are getting only the starting symbol and in the input string only dollar is left what do you mean when only dollar is left only dollar is left means you have already parsed the whole string fine so at the end what i am getting i am getting only the starting symbol in the stack and only the dollar in the input string so if i am getting this criteria at the end i can simply say that yes the string that i was given it is successfully accepted by the given grammar fine and if you have not reached that if you have not reached this particular step and you are stuck in between somewhere then you can say that okay Uh, we are not getting this final step that means there is something error and so i can simply say that my string given string is not accepted by the given grammar so this is how you have to do the whole thing this is what accept means this is what error means and this is what particularly shift and reduce means fine i hope you have understood the procedure try couple of more examples by yourself fine so that's all about sr parsing if you think that my video was helpful please share and subscribe the channel and let me know that you liked it by leaving the like and comment in this video thank you so much